OPEC just cut oil production by 1 million barrels a day. This is bad news for the U.S. economy and consumers because it means gas prices, they're going to be going up. First thing to note is sports cards don't live in a bubble. The economy around it highly affects what's going on in the market. It's a doom and gloom for the sports card industry. Three months after Jeff Wilson told you we were at the bottom. The bottom is here, or at least it's near. 2023 will be a better year for sports car prices than most of you believe. I'll tell you why and show you the data next. Card prices have continued their two-year slump. A year ago, this Luka Doncic card was $60,000. Today, it's only worth $20,000. Yep. And that's a new three-year low price on this Luka card. Two-year low on this Bobby Witt card used to be worth over $67,000. Yep. Two-year low on this Opichu Wayne Gretzky used to be worth over 30000 not long ago. Seemingly, no card is safe yep, yep. what you have to understand is the card market is like any other market it's gonna fluctuate and there's reasons there's economic reasons behind why the market's doing what it's doing in 2020 everyone got stimulus money and when everyone gets extra spending money what do they do well they spend it frivolously and they could buy it on things they want not necessarily needs and not even the next level of needs but things that they want. And so sports cards took a huge jump up and people had nothing else to do but sit at home and maybe even start flipping cards, who knows? But the market was booming, as were a lot of things when people had a lot of money. Well, what's happened in the past year? Inflation, higher interest rates, and people not having lots of money. OPEC just cut oil production by 1 million barrels a day. This is bad news for the U.S. economy and consumers because it means gas prices, they're going to be going up. Right now, the average gallon of gas in America costs $3.50. Estimates are saying due to these production cuts, that could go over $4 a gallon, a 15% increase at a time where the economy is already heading into recession, at a time when the U.S. consumer already is running out of money. The personal savings rate is near a record low, 4%. Consumer sentiment is near a record low. And quite simply, folks, Americans cannot afford this they cannot afford higher gas prices right now but unfortunately i think they're coming and i think that means the economic crash in 2023 it's going to get even worse income to average price of home that's sold meaning if i'm making a hundred thousand dollars and the average house that was selling is two hundred thousand dollars that's what two times yep. right yep. okay typically this number historically in america has been at three and a half times mm -hmm. four times you know what it was in 08 what? in 08 it was eight times. Mm. Do you know what it is today? Eight and a half times. Mm. So what is that telling you? Listen, these people yeah. cannot afford eight and a half times. You, you, the, the few of us can. The average person making 60K, they cannot afford a $500,000 house. Right. They see this as negative. I see it as an opportunity if you're able to weather the storm in the next couple of years, build a little bit of a business. On the other side of things, when the broader economy picks up, so may cards. In my opinion, you will have already wanted to be involved with cards when the next up cycle comes because it will be harder to break into the business and established brands will probably do well unless you blunder like Beckett did. Um, and so while the card market and most asset classes are down over the past couple years, it's not all gloom and doom because you know what? The U.S. also has the most millionaires ever in any time period. That's right. We have over 21 million millionaires in America. So there is money that's still out there. And that's far more because if you look back 10 years ago, there was only 13 million. So yes, there has been an expansion. And you also might know some millionaires or you might you can think of some millionaires that might be inherently connected to the sports card market. Uh, yes, many athletes themselves collect cards. And on a daily basis, there are cards. If you watch sports card highlights or go check out Card Ladder, there's, there's cards making all-time sales for themselves every single day. It generally has to do with the pop count. So do your research. Be smart about the cards you're going to buy. There should be some deals today, tomorrow, and for the foreseeable near future. Have fun with it and hopefully make a little money. Like, subscribe, and tune in daily for quality sports card content. What up, everybody? This is Robert Ory, a.k.a. Big Shot Bob, and you're watching Professional Sports Cards. Hey, by the way, Go buy my rookie card.